So double duty actions, dietary counseling, investments, and I love the investment part because I think we often fail to literally put our mouths, our monies where our mouths are. We tend to invest in the wrong things. And when you talk about investment, we are not just looking at, let's say, donors. We are actually looking at what can the public sector do in conjunction, of course, with the private sector. Innovative, smart resource mobilization, and smart investments, and smart planning. This is what we need. And the only way we can get there is if we all understand what's in it for all of us, what we stand to gain, and how we can actually, individually and collectively, contribute. Moving right along, I have my next speaker. This is academia. I love academia, as long as we can communicate. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> so what is the key role? An engagement that academia has or should have and the engagement, more importantly, with the common man who needs the message, who needs to understand the research and its benefit. Over to you. Thank you. Well, first of all, I think we have to understand that the problem of obesity and uh, in terms of NCD is come from of the situation of lost balance. You lost balance in terms of the energy intake and expenditure. You lost balance in terms of the nutrient profile that you get. You lost balance in terms of your lifestyle. And also, you lost balance in terms of your stress management. I think these four factors that make this problem become expand. You have the, I mean, urban area that expanding and people have less um, accessible to the nutritious food, right? So in this case, we want to have the nutritious food that uh, must be acceptable first because uh, if it not taste good, nobody accept it. And then available. That means that the marketing system or any system that can have, can make people can access it and then available for them. The last one, affordable. Like Francesca also said, that affordable means that they can pay for it, even they are from the low income gen, um, status. But the thing is, um, in Thailand, something different. We produce food for export. Uh, part of the income in the country also exportation. So we produce for the survival and also exportation. The thing is, when you go for commercial system, the term biodiversity become lower. People don't give so much um, importance or emphasize on biodiversity. How can we survive in sustainable and make the people of our income uh, status can have the food that biodiversity and also nutritious. This is a point that we need to do with this kind of research also, right? Um, when you look at the, um, the late king philosophy, we call sufficient uh, economy. One part that he mentioned about is the new agriculture um, concept or theory. That if you want to do or produce food for commercial, you have to produce for yourself first. So you have to spare one area to do anything, to grow anything that you want to eat. With that concept, you can get biodiversity in your land. And then after you feed yourself, it's not cash. It's something that you call food security with no cash. So maybe you cannot measure by you know, uh, the income generation or whatever. You can measure on how much you can eat in one day. Are you um, prefer, I mean, are you satiety or are you hungry or something like that? So this is a concept that you feed yourself first. This is a self-sufficient. And then after that, when you grow something to sell, you look at the multiple copying. This is the one. So the food system, in fact, you look at the environment. This part fulfills environment already. The another part on the consumer is not easy to change the eating behavior. So no choice. You have to join with the private sector. But how can you make them meet with us in the term of the win-win situation? The taxation is one thing. But that one is negative approach, I guess. But if you go for positive approach, academic is the neutral 
body that can help them to do R&D, and then let them have the product that can marketable. And also, we should have, in terms of the neutral body, you can promote any kind of um, labeling, simple labeling, simplified labeling, make people understand more, and try to push more product into the market to be the choice. But the, finally, I think you, it's your duty to give the conscience to the society. We have the religious. Buddhism taught us that eat to respond to the need, not the desire. So they have to understand the nutrient that they eat, and then they choose not because they like it and they eat a lot. So this is the thing that I want to give in final. Yeah.